So let's do the crash and run contest here. This this looks like it might be fun. We have the Renault Clio R3 to race with. The name of the crash and run contest says it all. Get as many targets as possible and avoid the skulls. It would be simple if you didn't have to worry about doing it in the fastest time possible. All right, well, that reminded me a lot of gate crashing in Dirt 2. I believe that's what it's called, gate crashing. I think I'm 95% sure that it was called gate crashing. So, uh, well, that was... I, I love Dirt 2. I thought Dirt 2 was an excellent racing game. I uh, actually was a big fan of the gate crashing. I thought that that was a lot of fun. So, well, let's see how this game, let's see how this crash and run is in this game. That's exactly what I was trying to say. Got the Renault Clio here. All right, yellow, yellow. We got some different, oh, we got some different colors going. Oh, my God. All right, let's, uh, can we restart that? Yes, restart. Man, I really, um, I'm really having a difficult time with the handling in this game. I don't, I don't know if it's just a naturally how this game um, is. But it's, or maybe it's just the cockpit cam in this game that's throwing me off. Uh, I hate making excuses for myself, but you know, I don't. Uh... Alright, so I did pass the uh, contest here. It looks like. Um... Actually, I, I do want to give that another shot. I did manage to uh, pull out 2,500 points. And uh, really did mess up the, uh, the front of my car there. But um, we're going we're gonna to try this again. Because I'm just not satisfied with that, with that run. Um, some other things I'd like to point out about this game is... Uh, definitely feels like... Uh, 60 frames per second, but the the graphics are. Um, I mean, I I do realize this is a demo. Maybe this is not how the uh, finished product is going to look, but the graphics are uh, really bad. Um, the, there's no detail. Everything is. Uh, everything looks really washed out. And. Um, I mean, it's uh, if the gameplay is good, it's uh, it's something I can look past. I mean, uh, graphics don't usually make or break a racing game for me. I'm I'm more about how the uh, how the gameplay is overall, and I did worse that time. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. My car, however, is looks immaculate. So you guys you guys get the point for what's going on there. Not the best, but I did manage to pull out four points, four reputation points. And anything else I can show you in this mode? No. So let's go back. And I'll show you briefly what looks like uh, you cannot play the multiplayer mode. That's too, that's unfortunate. Would love to show you guys that. Single stage. Select one of the three official WRC categories. Use the tips for details of each category. All right, so... All the cars available for the event can be found here. For the details of each car, just have a look at the tips. All right, here we go. The uh, CS3 WRC car. This is uh, Sebastian's car. Hit the select button, and uh, you can see some some car details here. 
All right, car performance is 100 again, so this is about uh, about as easy as you can get. Choose one of the 13 official rallies from the championship. Put yourself to the test on the real WRC terrains and face off against the champions of rally. All right, so let's skim through this because it does look like uh, you can get a, f uh, get a sense of what tracks are going to be offered here. And where. And uh, from what I understand, this is supposed to be uh, completely official. It's supposed to have all the uh, all the official licensed um, teams and cars and tracks and you know all the um, all the rally goodness that you could possibly want. So that is the tracks that are offered. Let's check this out here. La Musara. The magnificent valleys of Catalonia are the principal setting for the traditional Spanish events. The courses are mostly on tarmac, but the numerous excursions onto unpaved ground require a great capacity for adaptation from drivers. All right, we are going to uh, I'm going to try this new stage out here with the Citroen. And um, I have decided to play in third person because I'm having a really hard time with uh, with the cockpit cam and with with the handling. I don't know if it's just because it's because it's so super easy um, that the handling is throwing me off. But the way the gameplay is and the way it's rocking back and forth from left to right is uh makes things a little bit difficult for me i don't know if it's because i'm uh i'm used to racing um with more simulated controls this feels really arcadish to me uh but the uh the controls are not as tight like they are in um a game like dirt There's just something very different about the way the car is spinning on uh, on its on its axis. That's uh, honestly it's driving me crazy, driving me crazy. No, no pun intended. Uh, but I'm gonna just try to take this. Be uh. I'm not uh, okay. I'm not gonna be as aggressive as I was um, the last time around. I'm just gonna take it nice and slow. Try to get used to the driving here and the track. Nice, uh, nice feeling on the gravel. But, uh, I don't know, there's just, uh, there's some space there, like a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, dead, dead zone. Maybe that's it. Too much dead zone. That's definitely something that I would want to tweak. And uh, also racing with a controller is... Um, not usually how I enjoy racing, but um, I mean I have done it in the past, but uh, usually I definitely prefer prefer the, uh, the steering wheel, and uh, I'm doing absolutely 
absolutely horrible on time right now, but I really don't care. I really don't care. I'm trying to get used to the controls and, and the car right now. And the track, this is the first time that I've ever driven here. I'm totally unfamiliar with the terrain here. I've never been to this place. This place is not uh, definitely not a place I'd like to uh, or a place I'd like to call home. But uh, it's uh, it's definitely a very beautiful place. Um, and I knocked my bumper off. Really hit my car. Uh, fairly hard on the rocks there and uh, definitely will be taking it to the shop later oh my god this is it's uh, too much handling it's like uh, just I don't know it just feels completely unrealistic to me I was like, I, I feel like uh, it feels more like Grand Theft Auto, and cars are, uh, cop cars are chasing me right now, and they just knocked my bumper off. I don't know. That's what it feels like to me. But well, I hope you guys get the uh, get the idea behind this game, and I just kind of wanted to show you what the demo was all about. And um, I think there was actually there's one other thing I wanted to uh, show you. And I believe that was in the Road to Glory section here. Where was it? From here, you can access the garage. Oh, the garage. You'll be able to choose in which of the... 36 cars, 60 liveries, 42 sponsors. Each time you earn a car in career mode, you'll find it here, in your garage. All the cars are ordered by category. All right, well, I think everything is locked, but you guys can slightly see some of the cars that are going to be, or maybe all of the cars that are going to be available in the final release. Class 3, 2000s, Subaru Impreza, I love that car. Uh, 90s, 80s, sweet. So we got, uh, um, wow. Nice. We got all of the uh, Group B cars that I love. The Ford RS200, the Lancia Delta S4, Peugeot uh, 205 T16. One of my favorite cars of all time. And the Renault 5. I mean, what other cars do you need besides, besides these? This is the best cars ever, ever made. Um, 70s, the Ford uh, Escort RS 1600. And uh, we got two-wheel drive. All right, well, that about does it. I think I've showed you everything in, uh, in this demo. Feel free to leave uh, any comments or any feedback is uh, definitely appreciated. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and signing off. This is Nizu. Talk to you later.